Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the career paths in quantitative finance. Well, it depends on which uh, type of quantitative finance you're doing, actually, right? There, you know, there's no one single career path in quant finance. Um, there are various types of controls, so it depends on, you know, uh, where you are, uh, you know, working and what kind of quant uh, profile you are in. So I'm going to, you know, dive into details of, you know, the different career paths in different types of uh, quant finance roles. Right. So before that, you know, if you are uh, not aware of what is quantitative finance, let me start with a brief uh, introduction of that. Well, quant finance, uh, loosely speaking, uh, combines mathematics, finance, and, and coding, right? Uh, and if you uh, are doing quant finance, uh, you, you must be working either in banking, finance, um, fintechs, in, in hedge funds, you know, other sort of private funds, pension funds, um, or in insurance companies, right? And you are using some maths uh, and, and coding to solve uh, problems in finance. So that's in in nutshell i can say you know is quant finance although you know you really want to define what quant finance is you know it can mean different to different people right but broadly speaking it combines uh, you know skills in mathematics coding uh, and finance right so that's uh, quantitative finance it's also known as financial engineering some people call it financial engineering or computational finance for example so there are different names to it but they're essentially the same Right. Um, you know, with popularity of data science, uh, quantitative roles are now, you know, becoming uh, more popular even in fields outside of finance. Uh, so how is data science different from quant finance? Well, you know, data science is a more generic sort of profile, which is you, you can find in all kinds of companies. But quant finance is only in the field of finance. And there are many differences in bet between quant finance and data science, especially um, you know, the type of models you, you learn in quant finance, um, in many ways, they're different, actually, especially, especially, you know, pricing of options, uh, or building models around pricing of different financial assets, you don't learn, learn those things, uh, or you don't do these things in data science, although there is some overlap, for example, use of machine learning and all, right. So, you know, use a lot of statistics, mathematics, and machine learning. You build uh, algorithms using Python, R, SAS, C++, even Java, C Sharp, you know, these languages. So, um, so that's quant finance in nutshell. Uh, and quants are the ones who actually work in the field of quant finance. Uh, you try to solve problems in the world of finance using mathematical models. Uh, it could be a uh, more mathematical model or, or data related model, statistical model, machine learning models. Uh, you, you know, as a quant, you will be working in banks, hedge funds, or insurance companies, fintechs, pension funds, so on and so forth. Um, but there are many profiles of quant finance. So before we dive into details of the career path, it's good to understand even a bit about the profiles, right? You know, you could be working as a quant trader, for example, quant trader in trading firms and that's uh, that you are quant but you could also work as a quant investor right you're not into the high frequency trading that sort of a role but you are doing quantitative research for long-term investment right imagine you're working with a, 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 a pension fund right uh, or a sovereign wealth fund you're not going to be doing you know trading right um, uh, as in so you're not going to take short-term trade positions there you will be you know doing more of a long term investment and for that also you you need you will be using a lot of quantitative techniques so you could be a more of a quant investor working in pension fund right or you could be a quant risk modeler uh, working for big banks uh, or insurance company or you could be a quant uh, a front office quant front office quant working in in the sell side of uh, of uh, you know sell side for in in banks uh, particularly um, so there are many roles right you could also be a consultant working as a quant uh, you could be working with big four consulting firm that you know provide um, quantitative consulting services to banks and and, and other financial uh, service companies you could also be working in fintech right so there are many different uh, career uh, different careers in quantitative finance not just one so career path therefore would differ right so I'll, i'm going to talk about all of them right okay uh, i've said uh, about these things right types of quant some work in trading and investment some work in derivative 
you know, uh, people you know, working in derivative would be using a lot of stochastic calculus, you know, black soil model and binomial model, uh, interest rate derivative model, you know, such models. They could be working in LM, interest rate risk, credit risk. You know, you could also work, be quants working in risk management, whether it's market risk or credit risk side. Uh, quants working in fintechs, you know, building scorecard there for, uh, you know, SME sort of loan or trying to find frauds, uh, potential frauds in credit card data. You know, so those are the quants there. And then quants working in insurance companies, you know, um, maybe, you know, pricing of insurance uh, products or uh, doing cat modeling or catastrophic modeling. So, you know, there could be uh, many profiles in quant finance, right? And the typical career path is that, you know, you start as an analyst, you become a senior analyst in a couple of years time, depending where actually and how good you are, by the way, but it could take anywhere between three to five years from, you know, if you uh, take that on average, um, and you become a lead analyst in about eight years time. And then you become a manager, senior manager about 10 years time. Um, right. Some people actually, you know, saturate at lead and they, they never become, you know, manager unless you have good social skills, soft skills, and, and you still, you know, you do have technical skills as well. Uh, then only you can become a manager, senior manager. Otherwise, if you're just a specialist and you, you probably will saturate um, as a lead analyst, uh, and then you could, you know, become a head of the department. It could be a global head, you know, it could be a you know, chief risk officer, chief uh, investment officer, chief analytics officer. There are many roles actually even, you know, these roles are actually senior executive roles. You know, these are like, you know, board members, you know, who make really millions and and, and some of them even go on to become um, CEO of companies, right? But <coughs> if, if you can make it to even head of department, that, that still will be a wonderful achievement in life and, and, and you will be making quite good money for yourself. Um, so it depends on what kind of quant you are. You will, the current path will dif differ, right? In banking and insurance, right? You um, most quants actually work in the risk area, right? There are some quants who work in in you know more uh, trading area, also long term investment, but they're not many. There are also quants who work in economic research, that sort of role, but they're not too many, right? Most quants in banks and insurance they work in in risk area, right? And these people. <coughs> Uh, could be working in different departments, you know, whether it's developing models, validating models, doing audit work or implementing the models. Um, so, you know, there could be different quant profiles, right? You start as an analyst uh, and, and then you become a senior analyst maybe in you know, four or five years time. You become a lead analyst in again about eight, nine years time. And then you become a manager or, or department in about 10 to 15 years time. There are not many department head, by the way. And that's exactly the reason why many people move out of banks and they move to, you know, consulting firms after having worked for 10 years. Not always easy, though, but, you know, because of the saturation, actually. Right. Some people even move to other profiles, such as, you know, they move to, um, you know, more front office related activities. Some people move to audit. Some people move to you know, IT. Some people move to business areas, actually. Uh, that's also a path. But the ultimate aim is to become a CRO of the company, right? If you're working as a quant in banks and insurance, you will want to become a chief risk officer one day. In your, and, and by the way, many quants have become chief risk officer, which is a board level position, by the way, right? Uh, it's one of the most important uh, position within within uh, banking and financial service companies. Um, wonderful position, by the way, you know. Um, so that that's the probably the end goal for many for many quants. There are also some chief analytics officers also, chief compliance officer as well, right? As a quant, you could also become a chief analytics officer, chief compliance officer in banks, right? That's definitely possible. If you're working in consulting, right, in, in Big Four Consulting, you are KPMG, these sort of companies, uh, you know, you are in a different kind of role, right? From day one, you are generating revenue directly uh, for the company, unlike in banks uh, where you're not generating revenues uh, directly. Uh, so this is a gen revenue generating role and it's it's easy to get into, but uh, you know, the pays are not that great, but the learning experience is quite amazing. So that's really good. Start with associate, senior associate, become, you know, analyst, senior analyst, you know, the hierarchies are more, but you get promoted. If you do well, you get promoted every one, two years time. And, you know, you become a manager or senior manager in about six to eight years time 
or probably longer actually not everybody become a senior manager there i know a lot of people even leave because the work culture can be a bit brutal actually uh, you yeah you really have to put in a lot of effort especially in the big you know first 5 uh, 7 years um, but really the learning opportunities are great and then uh, you become a senior manager or director and then you know s- some people make it to even partner level right and the partner makes you know money in millions right so that's the end goal right if you work in consulting you really want to be the partner um and that's uh, really amazing and you stay there basically for many many years and you take retirement and you have enough money to take, you know retire in life right if you work uh, in investment trading firms there are not many hierarchies right there is a heavy, very high entry barrier not everybody can get into these roles uh, can find these roles uh, but if you can make it then it's uh, wonderful because the pay is really great but it's a flat career as in you join as an analyst you become a senior analyst or maybe lead analyst um um but you could also you know move from doing quantitative work to really you know become a trader or uh, someone who is taking decision right not just helping others to take decision but you know taking decision himself so you know you have um some uh, people move from one role to the others right there are many uh, people also moving uh, to become chief investment officer if you work in in these firms that's quite possible actually right some people have even gone on to you know become founders actually right for example the ftx guy you know the sbf i mean for wrong reason i mean is he not a good example by the way but he was a quant actually he went on to uh, found ftx but that's a story in itself uh so that's also possible right if you work as a quant in fintech actually this was very different role actually very interdisciplinary you not just work as quant you know building models but you also do product management you work with the tech guys to build products and you do a lot of bunch of things you could also be you know talking to regulators so and it's it's a wonderful role because imagine you have understanding of products you have understanding of the decision making which is you know the modeling and you have uh, the skills of talking to the com- you know the compliance guys and the risk guys you, you you have the experience of working with the regulators right you are an amazing resource you will be you know working as head of risk or chief, becoming a chief risk officer or even a chief executive officer ceo of that that fintech so working as a quant in fintech is 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 perhaps the most underrated uh, career uh, among quants it's a bit risky but uh, if you can take that risk i think in long term i think it really pays well i in my personal opinion so you could become a cro ceo if you work as quant right all right so this is what i wanted to share uh, some frequently asked questions i would like to you know discuss how difficult is the entry well uh, depends where for quant trading investment sort of profile if you want to work in hedge funds or you know you work, work for trading firms quant trading firms citadel and two sigma those companies you know it's tough not everyone can get into there those places but uh, that's not the end of the road you know most quant don't work there most, most quant work with big banks like they are the employer right in fact 90 more than 90% of the wo- quants work with banks and big uh, big banks and um, insurance companies so they find a job there you know that's also quite lucrative in my view um how easy to move between this different role uh, not always easy but there are this possible uh, when i was in london i think i have seen many people moving from working as a quant in banks to you know trading firms so that's possible you can also move the other way around in fact moving the other way around is easier from trading firm to banks it's it's much easier compared to the other way uh, exit opportunities um, you know i get confused what that means but if you were to retire that's not uh, always possible unless you make a hell lot of money working as a quant trader but uh, yes there is no exit opportunity if you work in in big uh, banks having said that if you want to make a move to other career i think that's quite possible you could you could move to you know data science you could move to risk management compliance you could move to you know business areas you could move to even uh, it so that's quite possible uh, career saturation like any career in the world you can have a career saturation in quantitative finance as well having said that let me tell you that quants are quite in demand simply because uh, you know you will not find many people having skills in mathematics coding as and finance right having all three of them is bit difficult and um, if you have if you are good with numbers and you understand some finance you will always be in demand in the market especially nowadays simply because finance is becoming very quantitative 
uh, and it's becoming more quantitative over time. So your service will always be in demand. Anyway, uh, I want to discuss these things with you. Um, if you want to learn quantitative finance, uh, I do have a beginner friendly course on quantitative finance. It's a certification in quantitative finance and risk modeling. Uh, it covers a number of topics, uh, important topics uh, from the basics of quant finance like mathematical modeling, statistics uh, to you know financial econometrics, asset pricing, derivative pricing, um, machine learning uh, in finance, uh, but also risk modeling such as credit risk modeling, market risk modeling, and uh, or also quant trading. Uh, and you'll also learn you know a lot of applications in Python and SAS. So if you want to learn that, let me know. You can always reach out to me uh, yeah, on WhatsApp uh, or you can just email me, right? Um, all right, thanks.